In the emergency room, student nurses are placed at the center of life and death situations, surrounded by pain, urgency, and responsibility. They begin to understand the true meaning of care. What happens in those moments becomes a powerful part of their journey. Good day, everyone. I am Maria Ella Chrissy P. Cartagena, and together with me is Ludwig Van Tibulan, Roxanne G. Cabales, Jamon D. Cajeras, and Sophia Marie B. Chen. And today, we are honored to present to you our research study entitled Live Experience of Nursing Students Confronting Emergency Room Cases. One of the clinical exposure that nursing students must undergo is emergency room duty, a setting known for its unpredictable and high-pressure nature. In the emergency room, student nurses encounter diverse patients' condition, each requiring swift, accurate, and compassionate intervention, testing their overall competence. According to the National Council of State Boards of Nursing, over 70% of nursing students reports feeling unprepared for emergency room duties, emphasizing a critical gap in clinical training. Thus, exploring the experiences of nursing students during emergency room is crucial as most existing studies focus on registered nurses. For the methods, the research design employed was a qualitative research utilizing phenomenological or descriptive approach. For the participants, purposive sampling technique under non-probability was utilized, and 10 participants was chosen in our study. The purpose of this study is to solely explore the lived experience of nursing students confronting emergency room cases. For the instrument of our study, an in-depth interview guide with semi-structured question was utilized with the overarching question, what was your overall experience working in the emergency room as a nursing student? For the results and discussion, for the demographic profile, the 10 participants were diverse in terms of section, sex, and exposure sites. Age ranged from 21 to 23 years old. Half of the group were male and half female. All had at least two emergency room exposures conducted at either Teresita Lopez Halindoni Provincial Hospital, the doctor's hospital, or both. They represented sections A to F and were assigned pseudonyms to maintain confidentiality. After a series of data saturation, four major themes have emerged with its corresponding sub-themes. Theme 1. Facing Emotional and Psychological Challenges For sub-themes, first, experiencing anxiety in high-pressure situation. With a significant statement, during my first emergency room duty, I didn't even know where to stand because I was having anxiety. Second, Managing stress amid unpredictable demand. With a significant statement, my stress is really high, especially when there is a critical case, but I make an effort to stay focused. Third, enduring with the emotional strain of trauma exposure. With a significant statement, I couldn't even explain how I felt when I saw a critical patient. I just wanted to cry. Theme 2. Utilizing useful coping mechanisms. For sub-themes, first, Relying on prayers and faith for strength and guidance. With this significant statement, every time before my shift, I pray for guidance and strength from Lord. It's really difficult, but I leave everything up to God. Second, drawing encouragement from strong support systems. With a significant statement, if I wasn't supported by my friends and clinical instructor, I might not handle it physically and emotionally. Third, fostering openness to learning. With, with the significant statement, Every time I feel burnt out, I just think of this experience as part of my growth as a future nurse. Theme 3. Developing Various Clinical Skills For sub-themes, first, delivering competent and accurate assessment skills. With a significant statement, during my first exposure, I keep reminding myself how important it is to take even just the vital signs properly because I know that the care we provide depends on it. Second, strengthening decision-making skills with a significant statement. In books, making decisions seems easy, but when you're actually in the situation, it's really not simple. In the emergency room, once you're assigned there, your decision-making skills really need to be strong. Third, performing handling procedure with a significant statement. There was a dehydrated baby and the nurse asked me to assist in IV insertion. 
It was difficult but rewarding because I added to my skills. Fourth, displaying quick and strong adaptability with a significant statement. In the emergency room, you have to quickly adapt because patients have different conditions and you never know when they will arrive. Fifth, exhibiting effective communication skill. With a significant statement, I realized how important it is to communicate with the watchers, the registered nurses, and the doctors so that everything stay coordinated. Theme 4. Providing Guidance and Future Preparedness For sub-themes, first, engaging in theme and peer learning. With a significant statement, if I didn't have my classmate with me, I wouldn't struggle a lot because someone was with me and someone to help and asked right away. Second, practicing effective time management. With a significant statement, for those who will have their duty soon, don't waste your time. You always have to stay alert and be familiar with the flow of your duty. If you're prepared, you manage your time and workload much better. Third, giving advice for junior and parents. With a significant statement, I also want to remind the lower years that before you start your duty, talk to your parents let them know that this experience isn't easy, but even if it's hard, it's fulfilling in the end. In conclusion, this study revealed significant emotional, cognitive, and professional transformations. Despite initial anxiety and fear, students adapted by observing skilled practitioners, developing coping mechanisms, and actively participating in patient care. The support of clinical instructors and peers played a crucial role in shaping their experience. Overall, the emergency room experience proved transformative in molding their identity as future nurses. These insights underscore the importance of structured support, reflective learning, and mentorship during clinical training. The transformation that students undergo reinforces that real-life clinical exposure is essential not only for developing technical competence, but also for shaping professional values and personal growth. For the recommendations, Based on the findings of the study, the researchers recommend the following. First, orientation programs and simulation. Second, enhance clinical instructors and nurses' engagement. Third, encourage reflective practice. Next, foster peer mentoring systems. And last, build resilience training modules. For our references, kindly scan this QR code. We sincerely thank our research facilitators. Dr. Shaila M. Trejera, Dr. Rika D. Flores, Dr. Evelyn A. Alova, Dr. Tony Ann Lachica, and Dr. Geraldine Abelia. Our brave participants, our families, and most importantly, our Almighty God who guided us through this process.